head home and figure out a plan with Miles and MJ. What are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. Set the stage. A train line in Brooklyn. Presumably, precious containers carrying commodities that we rely on. Spider-Man and that new vigilante. Oh, did I just spoil the play? Can you see where this is going? I feel sorry for anyone awaiting a shipment today. It's not coming. You know who to thank. Explosions rock the line. Trains were derailed, almost colliding with an apartment complex. A local community group was injured. The followers of the flame. I'm not here to jump. Wraith? Where'd those symbiotes come from? What up, Rage? Interesting. I've defeated everything. We just have the last mission to do. Helldivers was a lot of fun. Holy shit, I think we might be jumping in after this. It literally, to me, feels like Aliens Fireteam Elite mixed with Warhammer, Halo. It literally feels like an amalgamation of so many different games. Someone's gonna get killed and all that. I gotta move. I Nice, Rage. King of the Sea. an ambulance nearby. I can take you to it. No, I'm not too heavy. We're close. 
You're doing great. Here you go. And now you're in much better hands. You really are a hero. Thank you. Stay in a few hours. Jeez. We're as good as we can get. Central Park Reservoir. The water system. Pumping goo everywhere. Adding more and more people to the hive mind. All those symbiotes get out of Manhattan. Goodbye, Earth. Hello, planet goo. The meteorite is the source of all the power, right? Creating goo, creating symbiotes. But it was useless until Harry repaired it. Yeah. And that particle accelerator is what damaged it in the first place. Cut off a piece at low power. Right, so what if we crank the power up? Like way past 11. Might destroy it. And free everyone connected to the hive mind. Theoretically. But that reservoir's gotta be mobbed with symbiotes. And you know Harry's not gonna let that rock out of his sight. Unless he sees something he wants more. Me. You know, for illustrative purposes. Harry's still Harry. He thinks he's healing the world. But the dream isn't complete without... His best friend beside him. I can lead Harry away from the meteorite. And I can handle all the symbiotes. While I grab the space rock. For illustrative purposes. All right. Fire up the accelerator. No more hive mind. World saved. We all get churros? <laughs> Theoretically. Pete, what Connor said about Harry being too far gone. If you can't save him, are it you won't right? come to that. You two will be able to destroy the rock in time. Let's heal the world. For real this time. Meteorite is somewhere in that thing. So are Harry and his friends. Here. I figured you could use a sonic touch. <sighs> They're just standing there. What are they waiting for? Me. Look, I can't thank you both enough. For everything. Come on, bro. We're the Spire team. Don't anyone forget it? Hey, buddy! You gonna sit in there and play with your pet rock all night? It's you and me, Harry. Like we always wanted.
here's the thing, though. You're gonna have to catch me. Time to go get that story. What was that? Whoever dropped these flares. I hope they made it out. Couldn't help. Sorry, bud. connected to the rest of the hive. Just a normal more rock. That's what you think. I can also end the world. What's stopping it from taking over Mary Jane right now? Alive. I 
You know what comes. Your plus one isn't invited to our high school reunion, Harry! Everything we've been through! Oh, fuck that. No, after we're done this, we'll try and spread some of our own automaton democracy. <sighs> it's 
Seriously, can't change the health. I honestly really enjoy it. I it does give me a lot of um it does give me a lot of Aliens Fireteam Elite vibes and Starship Troopers and everything. And I felt I was at the edge of my seat every time. Mom Ed, thank you so much for that. Have a great day. It was funny as fuck, though. I, I really liked it. I enjoyed... <laughs> like, I knew I was just going to die over and over again, so I kind of was just locked in and ready, and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I wish I got the 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 <laughs> the team kill on you. It was so funny. <laughs> mhm mm it was so funny which spider-man opponent is your favorite mm -hmm. i'm gonna biasly say venom he's my venom is my favorite the black suit, everything. Um, yeah, I think Venom, but then he's not, so maybe Carnage, because Venom is seen as more of an anti hero. I like this one. Who's your favorite villain?
We're going to be stuck taking pictures, aren't we? So, wh why are the bots not fun, though? Blackout, let me know. Are they just really unfun? <laughs> Oh, they just kill you. Okay, makes sense. I like unrelenting death, though, so I, I think I might like that. <laughs> This is a good frame. Might as well get some shots. I haven't watched too much. That's the one that I haven't truly really watched all the way through. That's Josh Keaton's run, right? The Spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, more of a Christopher Daniel Barnes guy. I grew up on him. Although Josh Keaton is a magnificent actor, I grew up on Josh Keaton because he played young Hercules. I used to watch that VHS over and over again. And yes, I said VHS. <laughs> if it was released in the 90s, I think it would have done a lot better. Unfortunately, nowadays, you don't get too many... Um, not a lot of things get to see the light of day. If it doesn't make a billion dollars in like the first two days of it ever being released... Cancelled! That's a sweet shot. See, when I got to this point in time in the game, I just really wanted it to be over. Because I think I played it pretty intensely. The X-Men 90s animated. Um, I am in love with what they are currently doing. It really gives me the vibes of waking up like in Saturday morning. Did again, 
It's so good. This is a nice frame. I dig this. I did. X-Men were never really my favorite, but I did watch it quite a bit. Um, yeah. I was a product of the 90s growing up. That's the decade I was born in. The 90s were the shit, man. No one gave a fuck about anything, and it was awesome. <laughs> Everything was weird in the 90s. That's what made it so good. Hey, good job, Rage. The way that they did the animation back then, comparing it to the one that they did now, it's a impressing. Um, it's impressive what they're doing with the animation now. It almost looks like it reminds me of Archer a little bit, if you guys know what that. I'm not a huge fan of Archer, just because it's Bob's Burgers, his fucking, his voice. It's just, it's Bob's Burgers, but Archer, it's, it's, I can't, <laughs> but I respect it. <laughs> cool we used to watch a ton we used to watch a lot of cartoons then we got really old all of a sudden I'm just getting Venom beating the crap out of everybody I have seen a little bit of The Boys. I think I only watched the first season. I definitely need to keep watching it. One thing I'm very excited for is apparently Seth Rogen, who wrote The Boys...
is also writing a rated R Venom project. Did you forget about Flash? Enough. Whoops. <laughs> Damn it, this is gonna be hard. Join us. Please remember everything we've been through. Whoops, gotta change my tendrils. Did I just quit? I just quit, didn't I? Wow, what a noob. What a noob. Join us. Please, remember everything we've been through. It happened. Seeing Jensen Ackles just, like, not be Dean from Supernatural is really fucking funny. Apples! What's going on, Apples? What is he doing? Please tell me I can get a picture. Where'd he go? Figure oot. <laughs> We're from Canada. We we live up where it is cold and everything. Abbas, you need to get hell divers, dude. We've been uh, spreading democracy with black. Oh, oh no, no, oh, not again. Venom piss off. Come on. It's a fun place. Oh no. I live in the province of Ontario. That's as much as I would like to disclose. I think it would be very much so your kind of thing. Oh fuck, we're dead. It's like Aliens Fire Team Elite, but like with a lot more freeing mechanics. Oh shit. It is a grind, yeah, but not, like, incredibly terrible. And every game is pretty... pretty crazy. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, no. 
I think it'll be a lot more stealthy and more of a beat-em-up compared to this game. That's at least what I feel like Wolverine's gonna be like. Pitbull, what's happening, dude? I have not played the game Suicide Squad, but it looks like a fun time. When you lost her, that day on the football field, I was there. Always have been. Uh, I believe it does have cross-play. I just don't know if it's... It should, as far as I know. I just don't want to say yes and it doesn't. I don't want us to have another blood hunt situation. What comics have I read? I honestly can't say I've read too many physical comics, but virtually I've read a handful of, oh, Jesus. Spider-Man ones, Venom ones. That's primarily my two guys that I would try to dive for. Oh, wow, this Venom is kicking my ass. I used to have a variety of Batman comic books when I was younger as well. It's a lot of DC because my uncle collected it. But we are a Marvel guy through and through. Venom is pissed. Why do you keep fighting us? You're not giving me a Oh snap. Venom is going full X Games mode right now.
How can I get the shot? Pitbull, she's doing great, man. She's just working her butt off as always. How's the lady doing? Yes, the King in Black, I have dove into quite a bit. I'm the type of person when it comes to comic books that if I am interested in it, I go out of my way to try to learn about it if I can, purchasing it. I should have been better. I'm so sorry. Then you replaced us with miles. Gives us even more. No! He saved me! Just like I'll save you! This video game is heavily based off of the King of Black storyline. There's a new Godzilla vs. Kong. That'll be interesting. I trust you, Harry. Not that thing you're wearing. We are not a thing. Oh shit. You're stronger than the symbiote, Harry! Fight it! Or these guys? It seems like it'll be a good movie. Uh-oh. Oh no. Yeah, Rage is a big Godzilla dude. I think it will. This anti venom's gonna sting, Harry! Got him. The end of this, I almost said movie, video game goes hard.
matter what you do to me. I'm never gonna heal the world with you. Not like this. <sighs> Yep. I think the goo aliens are mad we took their stuff. Yeah, well, they started it. Deadpool and Wolverine will be very good. So cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the King in Black. He looks so good. They made a picture. This Venom, a lot of people on the internet don't believe that this Venom is good. And I just think when you have very naive comments that say that, they don't truly understand how awesome this rendition of Venom truly was. It's so, it's perfect. It's perfect. Something that's cool, when you see Venom using his tendrils, he's going like this. So that's another uh, Venom thing that I bet a lot of people overlooked. You get a lot of Eddie Brock purists out there, Pipple. You get like, it's not Eddie Brock. It's not that. And like, who cares? <laughs> yeah. I care because of how yeah. Eddie is central to the Venom story in the comics, you know? This is not the comic. Okay, right? huh. Let's just get him out of here. It's the best on-screen Venom we have gotten in a very long time. Tom Hardy's Venom is a close second, but it just doesn't have the white spider. It doesn't have... It's just Venom without Spider-Man, you know? This is the closest we have ever gotten to having a Spider-Man infused venom cuz he's the he's the sickest comic book character ever oh well whoops you're not getting this rock man our future doesn't belong to you trust me I don't want your future!
Venom, when I was a kid, I always thought he was like the cooler Spider Man. That's the way that I always viewed him. And he's like an underdog. He didn't get the same... It's almost like... Um... He could have been good, but then he went down a path of just being bad, and it was just... That's why I loved him so much. Still had a spider logo, and was just a badass through and through. I think it would be me. Mohamed, I think it would be me. I would love if there was a symbiote, slap it on me. Give it to me. I would kill for a symbiote. I wouldn't say that I would use it for good or bad. Because I don't know what I would do with it. Sam right toe for grace that's a cool picture um I don't mind toe for grace's venom and what he did in this in the Sam Raimi movies it's one of the only renditions of venom that I kind of went like huh what like what are they doing but it was Sam Raimi so I don't have the reason why I think I like Venom over Carnage is because Venom has a huge redemption arc when it comes to the comics and Carnage is just more or less trying to destroy everything. I don't want to destroy everything. So I think that's why I like Venom more. Toxin is the son of Carnage. He's the thousandth symbiote in the symbiote lineage. So that's his. Uh, you see Toxin in Let There Be Carnage. He's Patrick. Uh, his first host is Patrick Mulligan. And he's a cop. So he's kind of like a good guy. Very visceral, very visceral. Natural light. Anti-Venom is very cool, too. Which, there might be an Anti-Venom in uh, the new movie, I think. Because Toxin's too easy to do. And to turn him into the villain.
Sorry, friends, we're just taking a lot of pictures here. Wow, it's so pee. <laughs> Miles is OP as fuck. That's just dope. I made a promise, Harry, that I'd fight for you. You don't care about us. You don't know us! Oh, yeah. too close. Whoops. I think the best Spider-Man villain is the spot. The spot's cool. It's cool to see the spot um, evolve and grow. Get up to him. Who's up to slow him down? Whoops. Just like I talked to my dad. Remember? Miles and Harry have so much in common in this game, too. That we are so close. Happy Pops. This would be a cool shot. Please work. There is a lot of symbols of null. I don't like the way this looks.
This looks pretty fucking crazy. I like that. And then let's see if we could do a little... Little razzle-dazzle here. <sighs> yep. I like to take screenshots. That's me. I've beaten the game already like six times. So I just really try and capture moments that I really like. Pitbull got that 90 pound carp. Nice, dude. This is really cool. I'm starting to add um, oh no oh no I'm losing it I'm not going to lose this picture I'm trying to get rid of the negative space Crap. Nope, I want that. There we go. Want the reds on the wings? Yeah, that's as good as that's going to get, I think. The spot just opens up a portal. Whoa, 
dropping some frames. Oh no. That him's coming in hot. This is a nice shot. I like that. Yep. This is what you wanted, isn't it? Let's go. Eight aperture. To give me some details in the background. Looks pretty cool. Um, whoops. Got a vignette going. Thank you very much. We were very lucky to find it. My wife was actually the one that saw it before I even noticed it. And she's like, you would like that. And I'm like, yes, I would. Need more light. Oh, dude. Why did that all of a sudden just make it look really good? Like, I didn't even change anything. And I was like, here, let, let's just make your picture look better. Excuse me? This is a cool still. Venom versus Venom. Funny enough, my parents actually got me a 
a pretty cool poster. That's uh, a 2016 cover. I'm not too sure which issue that is. Fuck. Cannot stand. when it changes the camera like that. The picture looks off, but it looks cool. I don't mind that. New comic about Ultimate Spider-Man is coming out. I did hear that. So, are they just going to kind of be completely retconning the ultimate or just kind of continuing? Whenever they release a new comic book or like a new story of Peter, like I know that they just did one where he's happy and he has a family and everything, and it goes completely against everything that Spider Man actually ever does. Because he's not supposed to be happy. <laughs> he's supposed to be sad. In the forest, we remember what you did. Harry, stand next to Symbio talking, not you. You were jealous. That's why you pushed us apart. Maybe I was, but Pete wasn't Pete. You think you're better than us, don't you? This made of our oh, crap. Who's better? I just prefer you without the psycho alien on. I put this wing. Well, because J. Jonah Jameson always just was mad at Peter Parker for not like. Oh, damn, that looks really nice. I think it was the one night that uh, Peter Parker couldn't save his wife, and J. Jonah Jameson couldn't understand why after everything that. Spider-Man does for everyone why he couldn't save his wife. It's sad, really. See? He does that. interesting about this Venom is that he is more or less a villain because like he's supposed to be 
in symbiosis. But it more or less takes over Harry. Give me back my friend! We are your friend. This is it. Pete, what's happening? Just hang on, buddy! Please, no. I'll leave him alone. <sighs> you ready to finish this? Almost. Come on, come on. Miles is powering up a particle accelerator. We just like to take the pictures for ourselves, really. We don't look to... It'd be cool to impress other people with them, but they're more or less for us. I'm done. Either way, Pete. Uh, we still have time? No. We and don't. we do some of our own editing as well. We don't just take these pictures and do whatever. Then I'll kill you. Let's heal the world, Pete. Thank you. Now there is no meteorite. Oh, it's still there. I thought Mary Jane blew it up. We're in business! Now, Pete! I'm 
Goodbye, Harry. It's technically not goodbye because Harry's DNA is connected to the hive mind, so... As much as he's healed, he's not... Overwhelming sense of relief after the story is done. Venom's not gone. Still around. We did it. Uh, yeah. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Some room. God, I want to cry right now. This is so sad. I gotta try. Call the next part, but it would be better if he teamed up with Carnage became the. I have a feeling that it is going to be Red Goblin. I just don't know how they're going to do it. Because it was anti orc anti Venom, so it has to be anti Goblin for the third one. I think the new goblin's going to be Ganky. I think that I think that's someone who Insomniac loves doing original stories, and I think Ganky is going to be a goblin. Because Miles hasn't had the heartbreak of someone working clo really close to him. And then you know, he's had his Uncle Aaron, but like not to the same extent. There's lots of little clues that I think Genki's going to be either a hobgoblin or the goblin. I don't think Norman's going to be the goblin. I think it's too much of a... Too much of a... It's too easy, you know? I think it's too easy if they make Norman the goblin, because everyone's going to see that coming. But he is wearing red a lot. Like, got it. Like, maybe, Sorry. maybe he will be the red this goblin. Week. We gotta move. What have you done? What have you done to him? I'm so sorry. I'm coming with you. Wait. I would hate to see Harry be turned into the green goblin, because like Harry's already been the villain in this one. I think that's what's going to happen. I think it's going to be... 
I think it's going to be a mixture of clone. There are traces of brain activity, but the clone saga because we have because we have chameleon too. But we also haven't really gotten to just keep him alive. See, now he's wearing green. He goes back between red and green. Um, I think Peter's going to slowly lose his powers because he has the anti-venom symbiote. And the anti-venom symbiote is supposed to cure Peter. So I think he's, no, he's going to slowly start losing his spider powers. Miles will be the main Spider-Man for number three. Which would be really cool to see. Why? Why? Because that's what happens with the anti-venom symbiote. Because Peter has... He got bit by a radioactive spider, so his DNA is technically full of radiation and stuff. Get the G serum ready. ASAP. Although Norman has all the fuel to want to become the Green Goblin. So, like... But I want to hold out hope that this Norman, it's like too easy to call weeks, him the goblin. Tragedy has tried to tear the city apart. You know, I think they're going to do a real we different fresh going. spin on it. We battled sickness, evil, cataclysm. We are tired. Anxious, MJ will be doing stressed. podcasts for the next movie no. or next movie, next game. But we have never Silk is apparently started. coming to the next game. So it'll be Miles and Silk, I think. We're all Peter, to return to normal, but Peter might show up for the last fight. What is normal? What if it no longer exists? I think what they're going to do with the goblins well, the hour, in the I'll next game, it's going to be more or less like but the Joker. What about you? In the sense that there's going to be one big goblin series, person, but then there's going to be... People Exploring that have been strategically played. That's why I think Genki's going to be one. Thoughts and feelings. When um, I hope you'll he was piloting the Vulture drone or the the this drone, the Talon drone, he went, "Man, this this could this handles like a tank." How does Genki know what a tank controls like? You know, other than in video games. But like, I think that there's a lot more going on with Genki, and Genki seems to always have his his own personal life first he doesn't really think of like Someone. done nice. he always talked about doing sponsorships through the the spider-man app in a minute i want to show you something he first. doesn't genuinely kind of look like yeah, or feel as if he's season. really with the cause yum i'll take those <laughs> they'll dive into Haley and miles's relationship a little more But I think they're gonna give Peter and Mary Jane the happy ending. Thanks again for the donation, Peter. But things are too too good right now. Like, you know? So like maybe whatever game's going to be in between this one and the third one might kind of lead into what could potentially be happening for Spider-Man 3. They have to go into the multiverse because of Silk. Chameleon's around, so I think they're going to do a clone saga. Oh, Doc Ock is around, so there's going to be potentially the um, Superior Spider-Man. And there was a lot of Superior Spider-Man Easter eggs throughout this game. And the Goblins. I think that's what's going to be Spider-Man 3. Chameleon and Jackal. Because, yo, Cindy Moon looks fucked up. Here, we'll, we'll talk through it. Have you talked to Miles about... Not yet. <sighs> you ready? Uh, Miles... I've been meaning to talk to you uh, about something. Uh, I mean, I have been talking to you all, all the time. It's, it's, it's great uh, to talk so many good talks i just haven't been talking to you about what i should have been talking to you about. pete 
Uh, wait, uh, let me start again. I got this. All of it. Goosebumps. Oh. Peter Parker for a while. Are you? Are you sure it's? It's a big city. I love Miles the Spider-Man. As long as I can still call you for advice. You don't need it. Maybe not now, but there'll come a time. I'm here for you, always. Hey, bro. Goosebumps, fucking goosebumps. Goosebumps, 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 goosebumps. As he swings away with the symbiote. There we go, yep. Cool. I think they're gonna have Mayday for the next uh spot. They're gonna they're gonna make a baby. And then they'll probably show Peter having to deal with a fucking kid with like crazy spider powers. <laughs> Did we let oh yeah, we still gotta keep going. Did we just do it? I think we just got another platinum. So this is going to lead up to three. Everyone take note though, there's one, two, three, four other cells. What do you want? Rage, I'm... You gotta let it go, man. <laughs> the Spider-Man. Anthony, that would completely no, ruin immersion are. because he's Tobey Maguire's goblin. Why? It would be cool. <laughs> the actor that they portrays this Norman is perfect for this universe. The final chapter. Spider-Man. Here, I think that's a comic book. We all have to experience loss. Even you, Norman. What are you writing? So apparently the final chapter final is the chapter. gathering of the five. <laughs> when you see, I saw the voice actor, Norman. It's a very well-known actor. Mark Rolston. Very, very renowned, very, very popular actor. Rolston. Hear me out. I think Cindy Moon's a clone. I think Cindy Moon's a clone, dude. That's why I think there's going to be a clone saga. Haley, hi. I hope you're hungry. This is hungry, bro. Food's almost ready. Why don't you go show her your essay? Hungry. He works so Thirsty. Hard on it. <laughs> Come on, Rio. <laughs> Also, Cindy Moon is supposed to apparently have, like, an unrelenting urge to, like, breed with a spider person. So I don't know if the fact that she, like, acts all cracked out and shit is because she's attracted so to Miles. Harlem. Probably seen him volunteering in the city. Because in the comics, she's supposed Something to jump Peter's bones, so. I'm trying to live up to his hero dad. Yeah. 
Yo, the best suit in the game is back there. I don't understand why everyone hates this suit. Because she acts too, like... She doesn't... She's not acting normal. <laughs> I love this suit. Miles' Evolve suit is... If I were to put my brain into Miles' brain, I would think that that would be the exact suit he would make. But a lot of people are sad and upset about it because they wouldn't make that type of suit. But I think this Miles would. Yay! You hear her chuckle. That's cute. This fucked me up. I thought that Cindy Moon's dad was Chameleon, but it's not. It's like a completely different person. But that's where my brain went. Miles Haley, this is Albert. Uh, hi. Nice to meet you. But he seems to like... Oh, and uh, this is my daughter, Cindy. I think Cindy's a clone. Please tell me I... 3,000, did I get it? I definitely didn't get Ultimate Level 9. Woo! We did it. What's up, New York? I think they're going to do a play on... Because, like, they scrapped... The multiverse game, but I have a feeling they'll just make it a game mode in this game or Spider-Man 3. Welcome back, Dana Club. We did it. We survived the impossible. Drove back a friggin'. It would have been neat to have Miles do some missions by himself or something. Wait, does that mean we can... Yay, we can change the time of day! Look at that! That's it's exciting. Okay, everyone. You're safe. Whoops. Because Chameleon's at large. I did the Chameleon mission before I... Uh, finished the story, so when I saw Cindy Moon's dad, he looked very similar... Or at least shared some characteristics of... I think we can. Yes, we can, Rage. J. Jonah Jameson. I think there will be some pretty cool things. This game had a lot of different suits that you'd normally see in mods, so... I, I guarantee they will try and do some pretty cool stuff. It's Insomniac. They they make the best. Yeah, that's enough of that. And I don't know if you guys noticed, there's still symbiotes left in New York, so... Wow. Okay. Uh, we're dead. There's still symbiotes left in New York, so that they're not completely gone. Because Carnage is coming. Whether or not it's going to be in like a Venom game. I uh, Okay, so hear me out. I'm a huge Venom fan. Do I want a Venom video game? Absolutely. Do I think uh, a Venom DLC would work a little better than a, a whole game? Yeah. Because then I have a feeling like they're not going to make it as deep of a game that it needs to be and a DLC off of this game that has so much symbiote in it already would probably be a little better received so 
so I'm nervous. I'm I'm very nervous if they decide to do a Venom video game that they're just going to be like, oh, the Venom video game didn't reach our expectations and just, you know, I want it to succeed. Cheers, Abbas! Friends, we gotta actually get off in like five minutes because we're going to the gym. I like anything Spider-Man. Everything. Still not dead? Got a... There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. You're amazing. <laughs> I understand that there's different civilians that you save, but apparently there's someone in comics who's like a victim and they were addicted to being saved by Spider-Man. And I'm starting to notice that the civilian that you pick up is the same person. That'd be really funny if they did that. And they always go out of their way to get into trouble to be saved by Spider-Man. <laughs> A little bit farther. <laughs> Some good old corn. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you enough. Chilling, seeing the my boyfriend's your biggest fan. The fact that sure we beat nice New Game Plus finally. But now we have a big gaping save file that we need to fill, so we'll probably be playing it again eventually. Appreciate you dropping by. Come on, Ed. Thank you so much for tuning in. We will be around periodically. If you guys uh, have not followed our socials, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. A new day for this world. Staring down the face of the apocalypse offers a new perspective on life. Time to let go of old grievances. Rearrange priorities. While the world waited with bated breath to see. Yeah, a lot of people don't like a lot of shit, new Rage. Stood tall and held the line. We did not acquiesce. After we take a moment to celebrate the freedom we fought so hard to retain, we must then turn our sights to the people. The thing about the inclusion of the LGBTQ plus stuff is the fact that it's real life. It's the fact that people do have certain preferences, but that doesn't mean that it's everything. Like, it has been very subtle the way that they've kind of put it in this game. J. Jonah Jameson keeps talking. Monsters. Oscorp is claiming it's Spider-Man. And love is beautiful. For stealing Oscorp's research. That doesn't surprise me. But why is it a pro it's not like it's not telling you to be or act a certain way. This is what happens when corporations try to play God and individual. That's the thing I don't understand a lot of people have a problem with. No one's telling anyone to do anything or whatever. It's just they're included now. It's not a problem. We must not forget where the blame lies. We can't forgive either. But for now, enjoy life. We're lucky to have you. 
There's definitely some religious reasons that people do. Don't unfortunately believe that it is right or correct or anything, but it's very natural. I gotta save the people in that bus. Don't worry, everyone. You'll all be home soon. Just the facts. Oh shit. Where did those symbiotes come from? And it would be no different. Like a lot of people say, like, oh, it's forced in the video games and whatever. It would be no different if you were to see someone out on the out in the street meeting them and like maybe just in conversation they go. Yeah, like, my boyfriend, and it's a guy, and it's like, it's no different than here. Let people live the way that they want to live, you know? As long as it doesn't harm anybody, there should be no, no harm in anything. The thing that I find funnier is a lot of people don't enjoy how Miles' suit has his hair coming out of his mask and shit, and it's like, that's the least, least worrisome thing people should be worried about. Everyone kind of already has an idea of who Miles is through Miles Morales' video game. Because, like, all of Harlem knows who he is. And it's the end of the world, so why can't the guy be, like, do what he wants? A lot of people just made so many excuses for hate. Unnecessary hate. Because hate is not necessary. Alright, so we got to... We got to figure out how to get to ultimate level 9 doing... Or we just got to do the crimes. Hey, spider tie what's going on we beat it new game plus is done we're just trying to get our ultimate level now Excited. Uh, every time we go through the end credit scene and see what they have lined up for the future, it just makes me so excited. You're not 
see what I just did? Miles. Fair enough. I'm not gonna do my second playthrough today, no. I think after today, we're gonna take a little bit of a break from Spider-Man. Cause I have, I've beaten the game now, what? One, two, three, four, five times. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. But we will cut, we have a lot of photo ideas that we wanna do, so we will probably be trying to play a little bit. And then getting excited for whenever they drop a DLC. I don't know yet. I might play some classic Star Wars Battlefront 2, or Star Wars here. There's lots of ideas. Besides this, uh, right now we're playing Helldivers 2, as well as Texas Chainsaw Massacre over on Twitch. Um, but we are going to try and figure out a way of how to play some more single player games on here to entertain everybody. Because we're trying to spread our social wings, man. We're trying to not just stream on Twitch. And YouTube is definitely our more family-friendly um, channel, despite us still cussing occasionally. Uh, hey, ma'am. Hit enemies with throwables. Ma'am. Oh. Incoming symbiote. You're good. Keep it Ma'am. Ma'am. Thanks. You too. Woo! Thank you so much, Spider Tie. 440. We couldn't do it without you guys, man. Because a lot more of the trolls can get away with a lot more on this rage, that's why. We're on Twitch, all we have to do is just hit a little button and say bye-bye. But on here too, we can just like ban people pretty easily. Alright guys, oh damn, one last crime and then we gotta go. Because we gotta go work out. Right, gotta go to the gym. Miles is OP, bro. Incoming symbiotes. Miles is OP. He is so OP. Yes. We have been streaming for almost two hours. But we are going to be streaming over on Twitch. We stream out on Twitch at night. And we try to stream on YouTube kind of during the day, maybe sometimes at night. Wait, what? What the f Hold on, I have never seen this one before. That just really threw me off guard. What? 
Yes, I okay, so a lot of people are going to think that I'm crazy. I think the movie was great. I thought it was there was definitely some scenes in the movie that I kind of went um but the movie's fun. It I felt like they could have done that's as much as they could have done. Especially with it being a Sony movie, there's not a whole lot they really could have done. Because they don't have Spider-Man, you know? I've never seen this takedown before. You can watch it on streaming. Like, don't go to the movies to see it. I don't. It's on digital now. Ready? Wait, are you? Okay, good. I gotta get dressed. The wife is snip snapping. Gotta get dressed. This is the first time. I don't. I never really did takedowns on brutes too much. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking of actually doing with that show. It's not really Master Chief. She's the boss, man. No one tells her to wait. Ever. Fuck, this is really cool. It's a good, like, as a Spider-Man fan that grew up with Madam Web, I didn't go into that movie being like, where's this old bitch in the fucking wheelchair, you know? I didn't do, like, because I know that that's not what they were going to give me. Um, and a lot of people just kind of went into that going, uh, I will rage. <laughs> a lot of people went into that movie just not with a really great mindset. And unfortunately, I think it just kind of internet hate and just every, it's too easy to hate instead of trying to appreciate. Yeah. Find things you like about stuff instead of stuff that you don't like. And life will be a lot better. Whenever you get a chance. Just, the thing I've learned about life is just forget about what everyone else says and just really try to enjoy what you like. No one can tell you what you're supposed to like. That's what you do. You tell yourself what you want to like. And then usually I find when people tr um, find something that they actually like, um, people just unnecessarily hate it. And then years later, everyone goes, hey, we hated this too harshly. And it's just like, man... It gets very tiring when you just have nonstop hate. Oh, damn, this is cool. And then everyone just goes like, oh, maybe we, maybe we treated you too harshly, like the Thanos meme. Sorry, friends, we're trying to get this last shot, and then we'll be out of everyone's hair. This is cool.
<laughs> also, the symbiote having electric powers is comic book canon. So a lot of people might be like, how does this work? It does. Because Carnage went and killed everybody and took their powers. It makes sense. Okay, that's it. Can't you guys get out of the bus yourselves? Come on. Spider tie, rage. Can somebody help me? Anthony. Whoopus. Mohamed. Pitbull. Blackout. Each and every single one of you, we will be on later tonight on our Twitch channel, and we are going to be playing some. I can swing you over to an ambulance. Oh my They'll goodness, right come up. on. You're amazing. Thank you. We're going to be playing some Hell Divers. We hope everyone has a great uh, evening. Just a little bit farther. Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. Thanks again. And we're going to be spreading democracy tonight. Ugh. Peace out, friends. We'll catch everyone maybe tomorrow. Keep an eye on our... YouTube community page. We'll try and stay, keep everyone up to date. Hopefully I don't die at the gym. Peace out, friends.